This short video will show you how to use MeshLab to create a solid STL mesh from one of our mini projects. This will be very important for users of our mini projects that do not have the ability in their current software to import more than one model at a time. We're going to show you how to use MeshLab to take one of our mini projects and combine multiple STLs into one solid STL for users that require that in their software. So first of all, we're going to get you to go and download a MeshLab, and the link will be on cncminiprojects.com. Download it, it's free, install it, and once you install it, you'll be presented with a screen that looks much like this. Sorry, once you install it and run it. Bring it up to file, and we already downloaded um, the free heart and ribbon, ribbon mini project from cncminiprojects.com, unzipped it to our desktop. So we're going to import, and we have the two uh, STLs. We're going to, first of all, we're going to bring in the heart STL. You'll be presented with this dialog, and we're just going to click OK. And then we'll pop the Heart STL. MeshLab is a fantastic piece of software that can do way more than what we're going to get it to do. But for now, we're going to use about four of its tools to create one solid model. So once you have this brought in, we're going to click the Layers dialog. And it's going to pop up. And you'll see that we have one mesh loaded in, and it's called Heart STL. So let's go ahead and bring in a second mesh. So we're going to go File, Import Mesh, the ribbon open. We're going to click OK again and you'll see that it brought in and the way that we had saved off the meshes they end up lining up pretty good but in this case we don't want it lined up that way we actually want to bring the ribbon down to be below the heart. So what we're going to do is we're going to load in our manipulator tools so we're going to click manipulator tools and seeing as we had the ribbon STL selected in our project then the manipulators are going to be applied to the ribbon. You'll see in the top left hand corner there's going to be some little tool tips there for you. So we're going to use the T key to translate and as soon as you hit T you'll be presented with four arrows. So what we can do is we can click on these arrows and we can drag around that ribbon up and down or left to right. Now if we decide we want to move it on the Z axis we can press escape and rotate around our model press T again and then you can press escape, I'm sorry, not T, escape. And we can pull the ribbon in and out, like so. I'm gonna press escape again, and we're gonna rotate back around again. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag that ribbon down to the bottom. So we're gonna press escape again, and we're gonna pull that to the bottom, much like so. And we're all done, and we're happy with the way it looks. We're gonna press enter, and now we've got the heart and the ribbon lined up where we'd like them to be. Now we are going to select the heart STL and we're going to right click on that and we're going to go down to flatten visible layers and you'll be presented with this little dialog here. We're going to go with the defaults. I'm just going to click apply. And you notice that over in our project tree we now only have one STL listed and it's called a merged mesh. So if we close this we rotate around our model you'll see that I've overlapped it just slightly but it is one solid mesh so we can go up now file export this mesh we're gonna use this drop down here and we're gonna save it as an STL we're gonna call it heart and ribbon v1 we're going to save that off. And now, oh sorry, then we presented with this little dialog here. We're just going to go to the defaults again. We're going to click OK. And now if you look into your heart and ribbon folder, you'll see that you've got a heart and ribbon version 1 STL ready for you to machine. This video has been Weekend CNC Warrior approved.